Hi class, how are you today? That's awesome! The learning target for today is to solve inequalities by adding and subtracting. So, inequalities work very similar to equations. So we're essentially going to solve equations just with a little addition of an inequality symbol in there. Let's get started. So say we have this inequality, x minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 4. So treat this inequality right here just as an equal sign. So if this were a normal equation, the first thing you would do would be add 5 to both sides. The 5's cancel to leave just x is greater than or equal to and negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1. So x is greater than or equal to 1. And once you have that, then you need to graph it on a number line. So you have your number line, and then you need to make a solid dot at 1 because it's or equal to. So a solid dot at 1. and then shade to the right. And that's it. That's all you do. You just have to get it so you have an inequality. x is greater than or equal to 1. And then graph it. Alright, now let's look at this next example. So notice we have x is on both sides of the inequality. So just like in a normal equation, you want to take the smallest one, the smallest variable, and bring it to the other side. So if it's positive, you subtract. If it's negative, you add. So it's a positive 6x, so we subtract 6x from both sides. And so the x's cancel to leave just negative 8 is greater than, and 7x minus 6x will give us just x. So this is saying negative 8 is greater than x. Before we graph it, it's always a good idea to rewrite this, so you want to flip it completely. So put x on the left side, and then change this sign right here. So it's less than negative 8. So saying negative 8 is greater than x is the same thing as saying x is less than negative 8. So flip the x and the negative 8, and flip the direction of the sign. Now that we have x on the left side, we graph it. So we make our number line, and in this number line, negative 8 is pretty far to the left, so I just made everything in the negatives, starting with 0, and then I made a bunch of random slashes and got all the way to negative 11. So we want to find negative 8, which would end up being right here. And we need to know, do we put a circle or a dot? So there's no line underneath the, this, so that means it's not equal to. So we will put a circle at negative 8. And then it's less than, so we shade to the left. And once again, that's it. We just get the inequality and then graph it. All right, that's it for the lesson today. Please, once again, remember to take notes on this entire section and take a picture of it right now and submit it to eBackpack. Have a good night.